Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ridge Life, we're going to. Whoa, 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 what was that? Whoa, all right, what the? Whoa, we have got a problem to fix here. We have got a big rut here on our asphalt on the Ridge Farmhouse driveway. Um, there's a couple spots like this, but the asphalt is coming out here. You can see there's already been a patch here in the past, um, but to fix this today, we need some stuff. We need to go to Lowe's. We'll run up now to Lowe's and uh, pick up the materials we need. Um, we need to make this a little more permanent and uh, stop tearing this up. This big OF250, as we come driving through here, it tears this hole up big time. So we're gonna get this fixed today. We're gonna do some security improvements here on our Ridge uh, farmhouse entry as well. So stick around to the end to see those security improvements. Um, we're gonna get this taken care of. What we got is QPR, quality pavement repair. This is a cold patch material. It is a, a, a cold patch asphalt repair. It um, is permanent, it's fast. You can do it in wet locations, and it is moist. It has a tar-like, like a tar-like tar uh, um, additive to it, and uh, we're gonna set it down in there, we're gonna pack it in place, and it will harden and adhere to the existing asphalt. One of the things I've got is a tamper. This is a 10 inch by 10 inch tamper. They had an eight inch by eight inch, gotta go big, right? Um, and what I'm gonna use this for is to tamp that asphalt flat against the pavement. Now you can make your own with a, a cinder block or a two by four with a piece of plywood with some weights on it. Uh, you don't have to buy the tamper. I can use this for concrete and other projects around here on the ridge. So I went ahead and purchased, but I got 350 pounds of this uh, QPR quality pavement repair, asphalt repair, and we're gonna get it laid out in the holes here on the ridge on the Ridge Asphalt driveway. I've got a couple of them that need it. One big one that we drove over that jarred my teeth loose and a couple others we can probably uh, prevent problems from happening in. So let's get the rest of our materials, start making these repairs. More items we're gonna need to uh, do this job properly. First and foremost are some gloves. This tarry stuff on the outside of this asphalt coal patch is nasty. I mean, you can see I already got a little bit right here just from touching the bag a second ago. Um, a good flat, headed uh, shovel for moving the material around uh, if you don't get it where you want it. A, a blower of some sort. Um, you're going to see what that's for here in just a second. Uh, a broom and a rake, a, a fixed rake. Um, one of the key elements to making your coal patch work is adhesion to the substrate or the material you're, you're putting it next to. And for that to happen, it has to be clean. It can work under a wet condition, but it needs to be a clean condition. So we're going to use the blower and the broom to clean out these holes. There is a lot of that debris from the old asphalt and just dirt and, and tree you know, materials falling down on it. So we've got to get all that out of there, get it clean, and then we'll get the asphalt patch on. Fun stuff. Starting off with our broom. We have got to get all these little rocks and pebbles out of this hole. We'll use that blower here in just a second to uh, get the remaining pieces that just won't come up. You can see all this refuse, all of that needs to come out of there. Got to get it all out as best as possible. Tons of it. Get it all pushed over, all pushed over. We're going to fill this big hole up first and then go from there and see what else needs to be done. Once I got most of the big debris out, I can go ahead and use my blower and see if I can get the rest of that small stuff out.
Now it's very important again to get all the dust and debris out of this hole. Uh, the, uh, the coal patch won't adhere, won't fuse to um, the road you've got if a small piece is in there. It can chunk up as you drive across it and fall out just like, just like the other stuff did. And we don't want that. We want it to adhere hard, adhere, adhere strong, and be one with this asphalt. So go ahead and clean up a little bit more. We'll start putting the asphalt down. Putting QPR down is so simple. I've got my first bag set up and ready. Now this stuff loves to be compacted. So the more you drive on it, the, the better it's gonna fill those little holes and surfaces and adhere to your old asphalt. Now, it is wet, so when you first drive over it, you could get it on your car. You could put a piece of plywood over it, and as you drive and drive and drive, it compacts and compacts and dries, and then in short period, it, it won't be getting over your car. It will dry out, and you'll be good to go. Again, using your compactor over and over and over, filling those holes, very, very easy. Cut a hole in the bottom of the bag, especially if you've got a line to fill in cracked concrete. There's a handle at the top and you just walk along that line and it will come out. It comes out just like fluid almost. It, it's, it's almost a fluid. Um, do it about two inches, compact it, do it about two inches, compact it, and you will be good to go. So let's go ahead and start with our first hole here. Get this thing opened up, cut the bottom of the bag out, and we'll see how this stuff Flows and this stuff is pretty, pretty amazing stuff. Close that up. Watch how it comes out. Start to fill this hole. Oh, look at that, guys! It is like, like a black soup. <laughs> filling this hole here, and then I'm gonna do some compaction. Filling in, filling in, filling in. Yep, get it all where I need to be in this big old hole here. There we are. Once we got all that out there, now I'm going to start doing some compaction and then I'll put some more out. But you can see this stuff, I'm gonna have to move it a little bit with the rake to get it where I want it. There we go. Fill in those holes, guys, fill in those holes. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Level it out. It almost, it almost self-leveling. You see it how it almost moves like it's alive. It's fluid. And get all this level, start filling in. I got lots to do here, guys. Rake this level. And you see I had a pretty big hole here. It didn't look as big when I first got it drove over, but it's a pretty good sized hole. And I want to get it all the way to the edge and feather it. You don't want the edges to be too thin though. You want to make sure it's down in the hole because the edges that are too thin will break off. So I want to make sure that feathered, but in the I don't want it less than two inches thick in any spot, you know if you know what I'm saying. So Go ahead and get this filled in here, all the way over to my deepest hole portion. There we go. I'm still, I'm still, I'm, I'm still low in the middle there. I got a lot more to, a lot more to put down in here. But as I get bag after bag put in, I can start compacting it. All right, let's compact that. thing does a good job. I can feel the ground rubber beating believe my, beneath my feet. You can fill in these side holes here. Again, I'll use the rake to finish it out. Come on, get out of here. 
There we are. All right, I got, I think I'll be putting four bags in this hole right here. Get the uh, rake, start raking this out. Let me take care of these last two small spots and I'll get back with you and show you the results. Then we'll get into our driveway security option today, okay? got it all tamped out we've got three spots i got one a small round one back there i've got a long one about three or four feet long about a foot or so wide and then i've got this big one that was fairly deep in the very center i got it tamped down tamped down the edges feathered again i left it a little bit high that way when it smooths out it'll be level with the road now i'm going to put some plywood on here you know four by eight sheet here and a couple small sheets there and we're going to drive over that a hundred times over the next few days that way it's a nice smooth even surface it's important guys to do this on a really really hot day uh, the hotter the better it's uh, 85 degrees today you can see i'm sweating uh, now you can do it in cooler weather it won't be as viscous it'll be a lot harder to tamp a lot harder to distribute but you can do it but the sun really helps to uh, heat it up, smooth it out, you tamp it down, and you are going to have a really, really uh, nice, smooth driveway again. You're like, Tim, that looks terrible. You got these big black spots on your asphalt driveway. Well, the color will mitigate over time to match the rest of your asphalt. It actually doesn't take that long. And you're like, Tim, you've got concrete over two thirds of your driveway. Why do you have asphalt here? Well, when we bought the property, uh, they had asphalt up to here and uh, concrete all the way up to the house is much, much better. We will eventually get rid of this asphalt and concrete all the way out to the end of the drive. We have a really long drive here. Over $10,000 to replace this asphalt with concrete. Not today, not today. All right, guys, we're gonna get the plywood over this, uh, drive over it a bunch of times. We're not gonna show you that. You really don't wanna see that. We're gonna move on to our driveway security. We're gonna put a driveway a security alarm that can reach up to a half a mile wireless distance, solar powered, We'll get that installed now. I'm going to be installing the solar driveway alarm by alarm system. They sent this to me and I've installed products similar to this before. It is a solar powered product. So the, the uh, infrared motion sensor will mount here on this tree. Let's do an unboxing of our uh, alarm system, solar driveway alarm. Everyone likes to see what's in the box. Um, of course, you've got your instructions. Tells you all about how to set up and install your driveway alarm. Again, this is a solar unit. So if we look here, on the sensor itself, you have got a uh, motion detector, and then on the top, you've got your solar panel, and that's gonna charge the unit. Now, you do need to charge this initially yourself. Now, inside, there is also a, a power adapter for a 110 volt AC to the DC, and you'll plug that in right on the bottom there below that panel. And you've also got your base station. Your base station is wireless. Uh, you can put four AA batteries in the back, and it also can be powered permanently by that same power adapter. You'll plug that in, the same one you charge your sensor with, you, you keep this plugged in, keep power on it all the time. Again, it's set up for four sensors. And you see you've got an antenna there that moves around. We're gonna set this up initially on uh, um, detector one, and we'll see how that sounds. Maybe go through the rest of them, see those as well. And again, plugging this in, mounting it, all super simple, getting it paired up, super simple. Let's go ahead and get it mounted now. The unit did come with anchors and screws. We're not gonna use the drywall anchors. We're gonna mount it to a tree. And if you look at the bottom here, it is protected with a rubber cover. And this is IP66 rated, so you can leave this outdoors, of course. And there's your charge port. And you've got your uh, off, low, and high sensitivity. We wanna keep ours on low, about 20 feet. We don't want anything uh, happening past our driveway, setting it off. Uh, if you go to high, it'd be 30 feet. And of course, you got your sensor selection. We'll start off with sensor one and see what that sounds like and go from there. So to mount this, super simple, make sure you're at least three feet off the ground, get it set up so you'll get sun 
at some point of the daytime and then you can be able to adjust it where you want. Turn it sideways and you can put your screws in. I'll show you how you do that. You just get your uh, drill. First screw, get it up here. Get it right where you want it. So that way you get nice, good coverage. Get the first screw in and don't tighten too tight. You could break the plastic. And then we're gonna do all four of them, same way, all the way around, then we'll set it. Turn the unit on. One beat means it's on. Now when we first uh, pair the unit and we walk by, the infrared sensor will flash red. It'll do that during the first three minutes of activation. To, that way you can set it up and check the range of it. After the three minutes, uh, there'll be no light and people going by won't be alerted uh, to it going off. You'll know they're there, they won't know you're there. So we've got it set up for unit one, or uh, sensor one. Well, let's walk by, see what happens. <laughs> That's all kinds of funny music there and you can set it up for different channels you can turn the volume up and down uh, that was pretty amazing right there let's walk back there you go we know what that sound means don't we now we're gonna listen to the other tones this is tone two not too bad let's see what tone three is Yeah, don't think I like that one. Let's see what tone four is. Think I can handle tone four? We'll keep it there. On the low sensitivity, again, it should be about 20 feet out. So let's go ahead and test it walking by the edge of our driveway here. Okay, sees it's right on the edge. Okay, let's walk back. Come back over here. I walk to the uh, on the grass in front of the camera. Doesn't see us. Doesn't see us. So that way, I mean, when my neighbors and uh, uh, other things uh, go by that aren't on our driveway, will not go off. If I step back here onto the driveway. Let's see what happens. Come back through. There we go. So this works great. I am very pleased, and you can see the color. Two beeps, turns it off. You can see the uh, olive drab color. You, can, you can't even see it next to that tree very well. And um, very pleased with the alarm system, the driveway alarm by D alarm system. Uh, I'll leave the Amazon link in the description if you wanna get one for yourself. Again, uh, I was not paid for this um, product uh, uh, review and unboxing, but I was provided it for free and I appreciate them for sending it to me. A little disclaimer there. And I, I, I will use it and I do appreciate it. And uh, I think you'll like it as well. Hope you enjoyed watching us repair our asphalt driveway with QPR cold patch. I think it's going to last a long time. It's going to be a very smooth driving surface, surface for us until we can get this asphalt tore up and concrete poured. Again, that's a very expensive thing to do. It's going to take a while. We're not going to do that right now. Hope you also enjoyed watching us install our solar driveway alarm. We're going to test that for you here in just a second. I'm going to have my wife Starla drive by it while I'm in the kitchen and we'll be looking out the window and we'll see if it works. Half a mile range, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Guys, if you haven't already, take the time, subscribe to Ridge Life, hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And as always, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life. We are at the Ridge Farmhouse. We've got our base station in hand. My wife, Starla, is at the entry of the drive. She's going to drive up now, go in front of the tree. And when she gets in front of it, we should hear this alarm go off just right. So here she comes right now. I see her driving. She's coming through and uh, should be going off with the alarm. And the dogs hear it. Dogs go crazy and uh, they do their job. So everyone have a great day. We're doing it. Thank y'all. Take care.